up to the soul sus. Christopher Ellis was cracking. If y'all can hear me, make sure y'all can hear me. If the, if I'm loud enough, what's popping? Y'all the only people I see. We know YouTube is slow bringing in the chat every damn week. YouTube. Oh, hey, wipe your damn feet. Take your shoes off. <laughs> Make sure you don't you don't track it in my damn dojo. It means hit the like button, people. King Tony, what up? Canadian Kush, Love Bazaar, what's happening? Scotty Saturn, Mega Bills, Jason Rivers, spread the well. What up? Hood Politics Entertainment, Deloria Artists, May 4th Music, Marcus Porter, Gerald Jokes, oops, Nishi. What up, Kevin Corbin, Neon Black, Flex Hart, Mozart, Antonio Santos, Shine One Dragon Heart, or Shining One Dragon Heart. Why <laughs> y'all with these damn names? <laughs> DJ Sherm. What's that? Renwick Page, Visualize You. What up, Christopher Perkins, Brother Brother L. Wise, Maria Carbajal. What's up, Sharky Dog, Trivion McClinton. Scotty Elbe, I got you, man. What's happening? Uh, Lance Ward. Christopher Ellis, what's happening? Roger G. Dwayne Hicks, MD, Marksmanship. <laughs> Lisa Lai, what up? MK1 Bear. Antonio Mercado. Herb B3, Queen T. Andre. Chuck Taylor, what's happening? Immortal Creations Entertainment. WDMA Warrior, Jan Wynn, Joseph Lopez, Joseph Lopez, what was that? And Orlando Rawls, any kind of Lou Rawls? You'll never find. <laughs> Mrs. B, what's happening? It's a whole lot of y'all in here. What's happening, everybody? You'll never find. Doom, 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 doom. A love like mine. <laughs> On your old school people, y'all know Lou Ross. Someone who cares about you the way I do. <laughs> you may not be any kin to Lou Ross, but you just hit me with it. <laughs> I saw Ross. I saw Lou Ross. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Let me say Merry New Year. Merry New Year to the people. Merry, merry, very, merry, merry, merry. merry. Very, 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 very new year. <laughs> That's right, everybody. We celebrate the new year on the 21st of March because that is when the sun, that's when, that's first of all, that's when our, the, our ancestors celebrated, but the new year is when the sun comes above the, the hemisphere, the northern hemisphere, the ecliptic in the northern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere and brings life to the nature in the northern hemisphere so that's why it's the new year bringing life to the food that we gonna eat in the summertime when we have our cookouts <laughs> that's really what that just about come on earth come on universe give some life to this goddamn corn nigga, so i can get out on that damn field butter it up <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> y'all know y'all family reunions be happening in the summertime y'all know so happy new year merry new year to the people you guys should be celebrating, get back in harmony with the universe. That's how we get our energy back. That's how we get our power back from when we were walking around here as gods. But because we have come so disharmonious with nature and the universe, our, our magic ain't working. We ain't the magical Negroes. The magical, the secret society of magical. <laughs> Fuck that damn. What happened to that damn movie? That movie came and had, it made a million dollars. And for only a million dollars in this opening weekend. That's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, a million dollars. That's it around the damn country. That's great. But we, what happened to the magical Negroes? Can we get back to being the magical Negroes that we was? <laughs> so. In order to do that, you have to get back in harmony with nature and the universe. So get back. Roger Roche, thank you, brother. 
He says, Lou Rawls helped make a lot of babies. You damn right. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Just put that music on. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Shout out to Lou Rawls. So, Merry New Year to the people. It is Aries season when the new year pops off. To my people, shout out to my Aries people. Goddamn right, baby. <laughs> it's our time, baby. <laughs> Did I, I said shout out to the Pisces. I said, so Pisces, it ain't your time. Time of the Aries, baby. Shout out to all my Aries gods. Peace to y'all. Let's get this energy popping. We got a, an eclipse coming on the 8th. Let's make sure you do some type of, again, when you see these celestial rituals, things happening in the universe, make sure that you do your rituals with it. Yo, Roger, Roger Enoch, thank you, brother, for the cash out. Appreciate you. Make sure you get back in harmony with the universe and do this stuff, man, so so that you get your power back. So that, whatever, that, that eclipse coming on the 8th, Make sure you, you know, if you got some rituals, you got some things that you want to do, energy you want to put out into the universe, put that out into the universe. Call upon that power, man. <laughs> That's what we used to do. So, Merry New Year. So, uh, people who ordered police stop law packages, your packages should be sent to you. Thank you guys for supporting. Uh, if you haven't gotten it yet, you should have gotten an email that said it's on its way. So, just hold on. It's coming. Um, and... For, for some people who, who are, you know, I got to say this because some people be trying to get over. They'll, they'll order, make an order, and, you're, and not only are you getting the melanin books, the great book of melanin research, that alone is the charge that you, that what I charge for on the, on, the, on the website. So anything that I give you, the police stop law package that I'm giving you, that's free. That's a free package I'm giving you. That's why I don't put it with the book because it's not supposed to come with the book on the website because I give it to you for free. But so people do that and they take, they get the book and they get the free package and then go cancel their credit card and their orders. So if you do that, I'm telling you the universe is going to come back on you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you Saturn is all around here. Saturn is karma. Um, my energy run, it's, uh, it's ruled by, not ruled by Saturn, but it has heavy, it's heavy in Saturn because of my planets. So if you niggas fuck with me, <laughs> the universe brings that karma back on you instantly. So anybody who's ordered packages and you canceled the credit card, you know who you are. Y'all know who the hell you are. So I'm just saying the universe is going to come for you some type of way. You never get something for nothing. That's how the universe works. So just had to say that. And uh, anybody who wanted to join the academy, the Know Your Rights Foundation Academy, uh, the website was down for a couple days when I told you last week. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, so, but it's back up. It was back up in a couple days. So make sure you, if you want to learn, join the academy, Know Your Rights Foundation Academy, we're teaching you the law for free, for free. But you have to promise that once you learn the law, that's the commitment. We give that to you for free. We give you our energy for free then you have to take that information and go back out into the community and teach it to the community. So that's the commitment. So if you don't want to do that right now, you can order. If you just want to learn the law, we have a bunch of products for you to learn the law and do all that stuff right now. Right now, we need some leaders in the Know Your Rights Foundation because we have a mission we have to do. We have to get our communities uh, learned in this information so that we can move on past, you know, uh, the beatings and the you know, and all the, the terror that happens in the community from the police. So you want to earn one of these beautiful babies, one of these beautiful babies right here, you go get over to kyrf.org. Again, that's kyrf.org. Sign up. Also, uh, we just added to the website. We just got a new website. We're still working out some kinks. So if the, some of the pictures look make, look a little blurry, don't worry, we're fixing it. But we have, the, we have the gear on the Know Your Rights Foundation website now. So if you want to buy some of the Know Your Rights Foundation shirts that you've seen me wearing, um, you know, in the past, now you can go to knowyourrightsfoundation.org. Just scroll down to the bottom and you'll see... Uh, and you will see the all the apparel. So basically, we have, we have T-shirts right now. So men, men and women T-shirts. We'll be coming with children's T-shirts and hoodies and stuff uh, very soon. But right now, we have all the T-shirts that you've seen me wear. So get over there. You can 
Make sure that you donate, help us out. Make sure we get all this information out to the people all we can. All the people who support us so far, thank you. Appreciate it. Make sure you get over there and sign up, baby. And then, um, you know, again, like I said, the Great Book of Melanin Research, if you want to order the hard copy, because for ordering this, the hard copy, that's is why I give you the whole Police Stop Law package for free. You get this, and remember, this is for free. This is not a whole thing that comes together. I'm giving you this for free. At any time, I can stop doing this with the book. The book is worth it enough. All the damn information in this damn book, I could be charging a thousand dollars for this damn book. So, <laughs> but you get all of this for free, and you get the two decks of flashcards. This is the package that comes, the free police stop law package when you order the great book of melanin research, the hard copy. All right. So you get all of that. If you want that, realnoggers.com, order the hard copy, and you will get hooked up. And do not cancel once you get to all that damn shit. You know how much all that shit costs? <laughs> and take all the time to send it out to you. And then you be trying to cancel the goddamn credit card. I'll come for your ass. <laughs> but no, appreciate everybody who's uh who supported so far. And then this great book of melanin research, you should have this information, all the research they've been doing on your melanin for the past 118 years now, why your melanin is the most coveted thing in the world. It is hydrocarbons, just like oil, just like the oil they use to make every damn thing in the world and power everything in the world. It's literally the same thing, hydrocarbons, but you're walking around with it on your body. Find out why you need to learn how to get back in touch with that right here. All right. And everybody has melanin. I'm going to say that. Everybody got melanin. So don't be out here just thinking melanin is just because you're melanated on the outside. You don't got or you're not melanated on the outside. You don't have melanin. Just some people got external melanin and internal melanin. Then some people just have internal melanin. So appreciate everybody. Then everybody who hit me with the on Patreon, if you want to learn again for a Patreon, that's if you want to learn your status. Make sure you get on the patreon.com slash real noggers if you want to learn how to contract. Keep one foot in the system, one foot out of the system, learn how to contract, because that's going to be very big, very soon, once you see what hap what's about to happen at the end of this year. So if you want to hurry, you want to get a leap on getting out of the system, you better hurry up and get on this shit. Don't be waiting till all the shit, the, the society around you start crashing and you go, oh shit, what care that? Uh-uh, nigga, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't, I ain't Captain Saber, nigga. <laughs> don't come to me after you've been watching me for years knowing that you should have got this information then once your world start crumbling start crumbling around you let me hit kev up nigga kev be like kev ain't home kev don't pick up the phone <laughs> tell you right now kev got call id kev don't recognize your number kev don't pick up the phone <laughs> that's how that work so get over here now so patreon.com slash real noggers if you want to learn and thank people for the cash app that's real noggers nine appreciate you guys all right, everybody. Oh, homie Timmy Tight Top. I didn't get any juices, Timmy Tight Top. But if you want to hit Timmy Tight Top up for some juices, the beautiful delectable juices, you can hit him up at 323-864-4425. Again, 323-864-4425. And text him that you want some, some of those juices. The surprisingly sweet or the strawberry, what is the, the berry, the berry blast and the all the rest of that stuff that he got. He don't got the website right now. Something's going on with the website. But just let him know, and he'll run down the menu for you and hook you up. All right? All right, everybody. Let's get into it. So real quick, last week I was talking about the MS-13, and I said that they was the Venezuelan gang, and somebody hit, somebody left in the comments, they ain't Venezuelan, they El Salvadorian. They El Salvadorian, man. So, look, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Let's, let me say that first thing. I don't give a shit. They else out. They the same to me. <laughs> Just like a Nigerian, a nigga from Ni Nigeria, and a nigga from fucking South Central. If them niggas didn't speak, you wouldn't be able to tell what the hell they was. <laughs> so they two niggas. So the El Salvadorians <laughs> and, the, and the Venezuelans niggas, same thing to me. So it's just two goddamn countries. Uh, Roger Rose appreciates it for the people that canceled the credit card. EAD, that's right. <laughs> EAD, goddammit. <laughs> I gotta get them shirts made up. I got definitely gotta get my shirts made up. But, uh, yeah, so MS 13, yes, is Al, is Al Salvadorian. But what I was, the reason I put that as, uh, as Venezuelan is because they're linking up. The Venezuelan gang is the Trende Arugua. 
and the Tren de Arugua, which is from Venezuela, and the L and MS-13 are linking up in uh, in New York to form a super gang. So y'all better watch out out there in New York. But um, so the Supreme Court. Let's move it on. Starting off. So remember we told so Texas is dealing with the immigrants. Talking about uh, speaking of the immigrants, illegal immigrants. Uh, Texas, um, they had a law where they they basically they 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 instituted a state law where they said that was male <laughs> the male EAD. <laughs> so they instituted a state law where they said we don't give a shit what the feds say. We just gonna start arresting illegal immigrants to protect our border, right? Then the Supreme Court. Uh, they went over this because the Supreme Court ruled that they couldn't do it. Then basically they, they said, all right, well, they basically ruled that they couldn't block or they couldn't they couldn't stop the the federal agents from removing um, the barbed wire. So the governor, Abbott, he was like, all right, I won't stop them. But he, you can't you didn't say that I couldn't put more wire down. So as they were pulling up the barbed wire, he kept putting more down. So. That was a way, that was a loophole around that, right? So then they went in there and then he instituted the law, said, Well, I'm just gonna start arresting illegal immigrants, nigga. Fuck it. <laughs> and so then the Supreme Court, the, the Biden administration took it to the Supreme Court. And uh the Supreme Court came back and said, You can't do that. They just came back and said, You can't arrest illegal immigrants. So then Texas was like, EAD. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme Court. <laughs> we going to EAD to the Supreme Court. So then the Supreme Court was like, well, okay, you can temporarily do it. <laughs> after, after Texas said EAD, nigga, I don't give a shit what you say. Then Supreme Court was like, all right, we, you can kind of do it for temporarily. And then the Biden administration was like, what you mean, nigga? What you, <laughs> you just said they couldn't do it. Like, well, I don't, and the Supreme Court didn't really give a reason why they why they ruled that they could do it. But then somehow, a, they Biden took it took that ruling to a federal court, which I don't know how he did this, but he took it to some another court, and the court that court put a hold on the original order. <laughs> so so you, they going back and forth with the border thing. This shit is crazy as hell about the you know yes you can yes you can protect the border no you can't protect the border yeah you can protect the border no you can't protect the border. But then the video came out this week of the National Guard in Texas trying to hold off a bunch of the immigrants, the legal immigrants. <laughs> they they immigrants right at this point until they cross the border. Then they're illegal immigrants. So they was the immigrants when they was on the other side of the border. So they were they were trying to get through the uh the barbed wire and the 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 guard, the National Guard was trying to hold them off. And they just bust through the barbed wire and start rushing the National Guard. Basically, it's an invasion. That's basically a fucking invasion. What do they th what they expect? They going to force us? They going to force America to feed them and house them? Like, nigga, you just entitled to everything over here in America? Nigga, no, you not. <laughs> but this is being funded, though, by... America, allegedly, <laughs> through back channels and NGOs. So these people are promised they're going to get taken care of and all this and that type of stuff. So hell yeah, they pissed when they get to the border and the National Guard is there with guns like, Ch -ch -uh. I don't know what you're talking about. they like, nigga, we got a letter from Biden. <laughs> Biden said we're going to get $10,000, some hotel rooms couple of bitches <laughs> like yeah, damn nigga said right here and the fine print right there niggas I get two bitches every month that that ain't that ain't right oh that's what do maybe 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 my my English maybe my English but in my country this say this say two bitches <laughs> like, no Biden is promising them every goddamn thing in paper they're getting they're seriously getting when I'm saying they're getting fed they're getting fed propaganda that tells them they're going to be taken care of. And then they're given, uh, they're given uh, a script to say when they get to the border. 
and they're given uh, what is some number to call, right? So they are in, in, you know, to the point of the illegal immigrants or the immigrants, they're being told to come here. So when they get to the border, they're like, nigga, what's the deal? <laughs> what's the deal, my nigga? I got told the password back, you know, five about five countries ago, about five countries ago, nigga told me the password, just, you know, whisper, Biden is a bitch ass nigga. And I get in. <laughs> That's, they told me just with Aiden, Biden's a bitch nigga. And I get to get into America. Don't work like that, Julio. But they rushed the border and then they had to close the big gate. And so now, uh, that that image, that video got out to everybody. And then so the Democrats on MSNBC, they tried to say that it's Trump's fault. <laughs> they said, you can blame Donald Trump directly for this. You can blame him directly for this. Because they, had, they supposedly had a border bill that they were supposed to vote on where they was going to let 5,000 illegal immigrants into the country every day, which is not a border bill. And they was going to give $60 million to Ukraine and 14, excuse me, $60 billion to Ukraine and $14 billion to Israel or New Kazaria. And they said, nah, nigga, we ain't doing that. <laughs> like, we ain't voting on that shit. And Trump told them don't vote on it, right? So Trump told them don't vote on that bill. But they didn't need to vote on that bill to protect the border because the president can just unilaterally decide to protect the border. That's his job. Just like Trump did when he was in president and when he was in the office. He can just set up rules and laws to protect the border and send the government and send the, and send the troops there and all that shit. But he not doing that. <laughs> so, uh, excuse me. So, the immigrants... So the illegal immigrants are like, or so MSNBC is trying to put this off on Trump as because they, you know, again, they don't want Biden taking it. They don't want Biden taking the hit, but there's a, a dude who put out a video because all this bad publicity is coming out about, I told you about the dude who had the baby. Who said all you need to do to get to to get in, uh, to get some money is to get to America and have a baby and you get paid? It's a gold mine, right? Yo, Roger Raglan, thank you, brother. It's peace and blessings, family. Just started listening to the teaching of Taj Tariq Bay. Yeah, that's what's up, Taj. Shout out to Taj. So appreciate you though, brother. But uh, so that dude who had the baby. <laughs> who had who was doing the video and said getting into America is a gold mine if you have you one of these little niggas right here this little one these little gold mine niggas right here you on easy street cuz they found him they found his uh <laughs> they found they saw the video and sent CPS sent America so they sent the, the the authorities they sent finally the police to the nigga house he got deported and they took the baby, the CPS, Child Protective Services, took the baby from that nigga. So at least they find they trying to do some shit. But there's another video of a dude coming out that uh there's another dude coming out that said that all you have to do. So first off, before before that video comes out, so America is trying to send a lot of these immigrants back to Mexico, because a lot of them are coming from Mexico. Yo, wisdom repeated. Thank you, brother. It says the laws, the laws eight irrelevant is eight. Okay, eight irrelevant if they keep change. Oh, or oh, maybe ain't irrelevant if they keep changing the laws. So, oh, the laws to suit what they what they want irrelevant. Man, y'all, y'all right, right. Want irrelevant if they keep changing the laws to suit what they want. So. I guess what you're getting is the laws are relevant if they keep changing the laws to suit what they want. Is that what you is that what you're saying? So they don't keep changing. They don't. They're not changing the laws, but because a lot of this stuff is getting. So you just need to be able to take this stuff to court. So a lot of this stuff is getting kicked out of court, which is about to talk to talk about today. But some of the immigrants, America is sending back to Mexico. Mexico said, Nah, nigga. <laughs> Once y'all finders keepers. 
So America is not even, so they're coming from Mexico, right? But Mexico don't want them going into the main area of the cities. They're keeping them right there on the border. And so when they come over here, we're trying to ship them back to Mexico. And Mexico's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Find his keepers, nigga. So everybody in the world knows you're not supposed to have open borders except America, apparently. America's the only niggas in the world who don't who don't <laughs> who don't know that you ain't supposed to have open borders. Right? So then, because then there's a viral, uh, like I said, there's a video of this other dude who's telling people how to get in, how to get free houses. Did y'all see the video of the dude, the immigrant? He's saying all you have to do is find a home with nobody in it, go squat in the house for 30 days, and you own the house. Basically, they have to go to court to kick you out, which in some states is true, like New York, because I think they have a 30-day 30, a 30 squatter's rights law in New York, which is crazy. I only got 30 days as a, as a property owner. To dispute a crazy nigga who done, took, who done broke in my house and act like nigga, he done, <laughs> yeah, this is good, my nigga. Hey, and that's what the Moors nigga, that's what the Moors be doing. Don't y'all niggas be breaking the niggas' house? <laughs> y'all be going to niggas' houses and claiming that shit? <laughs> so, so they do a, a bunch of niggas that caught on to the Moors game <laughs> of Jack and Cribs. And uh, they, they're they doing the squatters' rights law thing. And that's 30 days in in New York. How in, in California, they can't do it. It's five years in California. Thank goodness. <laughs> in California, you need to be you need to be in a property for five years before you can claim squatters rights to it. But 30 days is crazy because a lady in New York, they took her crib, a million dollar crib that her parents had left her. I think she was she's Hispanic, like Puerto Rican or something. And her parents had died and left her this crib. Million dollar crib and a bunch of squatters was chilling in the crib. <laughs> and she went in there like she tried to kick them out, and the police came and was like, nah, we not we can't do that. So the police, this is crazy. The police tried to help these the, the squatters, the illegal immigrant squatters. So they said, uh, can you show us something that says you've been here longer? Because they was only there for like a couple days. So, or like a week or so. So they said, can you show us something that shows that you've been here longer than a, uh, you know, a couple days or a couple weeks? And they were like, nah. And they were like, well, we got to kick you out. They were like sad they had to kick the people out. <laughs> what the fuck, man? You supposed to be there to help the chick? So she kicked them out, but they told her, don't change the locks. Because she was like, well, what's to stop them from coming back? And she was like, and they were like. <laughs> so she was like, oh, I'm going to change the locks then. So she changed the locks and they came back to try to get back in the house. <laughs> when they couldn't get back in the house, they called the police on the lady, the homeowner. <laughs> they called the police on the homeowner and the police came and arrested the damn homeowner for putting for changing lock on her own goddamn crib. This shit is getting crazy, y'all. <laughs> this shit is getting absolutely Goddamn crazy. But some people saw that. A bunch of people saw that. And some vigilante cats went down and got the squatters out the crib. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know where you from. I don't know where them cats from, what country they from. But over here, America's got Americans got guns. And we don't play that shit. <laughs> Americans don't play that shit. Tell you right now, I wish a nigga would. Oh, man. <laughs> if I got a crib and a motherfucker was squatting in my crib, nigga, that'd be the worst karma you ever had in your damn life. <laughs> worst karma they ever, nigga, boy. <laughs> they would not find that nigga. I ain't calling nobody. <laughs> I'm telling you right, I ain't calling a goddamn body, nigga. I don't need to call a goddamn person. You done fucked up. I'm going to close the door like, <laughs> click, click. <laughs> What'd you say? You're not leaving? Oh, got it. Click, click. Click, click. <laughs> Locking this nigga in the house with me. I'm making sure. You said you ain't leaving, right? Okay, that's all I wanted to make sure. 
Cause nigga, you damn sure ain't leaving. <laughs> Boy, I would commence the beating the living snake <laughs> out of the people in all up and down the house. They be just let us out, let us out. They be <laughs> they be going the damn one <laughs> going through the curtains, let us out, get us out of here. <laughs> like, nigga, I'd pull them niggas back, nigga. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Boy. They, yeah, boy, they they got some good karma that it was a it was a lady like that. But shout out to the vigilantes, not or alleged vigilantes, <laughs> who went to get him out of the crib. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> so <laughs> that, that's hilarious. So then, basically, they said. Letitia James, uh, who's the attorney general, moving along, Letitia James, who's the attorney general of, uh, was, it, was she the attorney general of New York? So basically, excuse me, man, I lost my place. So, oh, here it is. So. There was a story that came out. So you know that Kathy Hochul and Letitia James. So Kathy Hochul is the governor of New York. Letitia James is the one who tried to, the one who tried to railroad Trump for nothing. Basically saying he did fraud when he he they saying he devalued his price or he overvalued his properties when he tried to get a loan from a bank. But the bank was like, nigga, we good. Me and Trump cool. What the hell you talking about? There's no damn fraud, but the judge ruled on it anyway, right? So then it came out <clears throat> that, uh, and remember, there's a scandal that came out with Andrew Cuomo where it said that he was, uh, that he was sexually, he he essayed some women, or he was, you know, he was a little too hands on, handsy awning, <laughs> hands oning with a bunch of women, and, and so he had to, he had to, uh, he had to resign. So. There was a report that came out that Letitia James and Kathy Hochul conspired to get Andrew Cuomo out of office. They found some women to charge to who, who was going to place charges on him. And then they said they came together and they said, basically, so when he retired or he, he resigned, they dropped the charges. Because again, Kathy Hochul was the was the lieutenant general. So that immediately made that instantly made her, I mean the lieutenant. The lieutenant governor so that immediately made her uh, the actual governor and then letitia james and her now run the damn country which is why it's going to shit because women when women running shit sorry women y'all running shit by emotion <laughs> that's why new york is going to shit it ain't being run by logic anymore it's being run by goddamn emotion two women in charge just going crazy talking about just trying to just out of spite and <laughs> trying to trying to just get back in supposed patriarchy in men who've been the who who they think have been holding them down for so damn long. So this is sorry, New York. <laughs> not all women are are super emotional like that, but usually women run with emotion, not logic. And so that's usually what's going on right now. And uh because Letitia James and Fonnie Willis is acting like, you know, Trump used to hit it. <laughs> they trying to take Trump down like he used to tap. <laughs> but um uh, so then there was an illegal immigrant, another illegal immigrant. So also there was an illegal immigrant who was let go. He was he, he was basically accused of killing a police officer and they let him go. This is in New York. <laughs> there was a there was he killed a police officer in New York and they let him go. I told you last week how they found three cats who cut up a body and they let them go. New York, this ain't looking too good. Not that California is any better and shit, because I'm probably about to bounce up out of here to Cali. Y'all, hey, Texas or Florida, I might be coming <laughs> on the real. I might be coming, Texas, because Cali and New York is fucked up right now. But then, to add to it, Tyson Foods, to add to the illegal immigrant shit, because I'm telling you, you're being replaced, America. <laughs> or not America, but niggas in America. Niggas in America, you're being replaced. Tyson Foods just laid off 1,300 American employees 
only to go and hire 42,000 illegal immigrants at $16.50 an hour, and they're going to pay for housing and legal aid, basically pay for them to get legal in America. This is some crazy shit. Yo, who just hit me up? Brandon T Brandon Terry. Thank you for the thank you for the cash out, Brandon Terry. God damn. Fire 1300 American workers. They shut down a bunch of uh factories or whatever. And they're going to hire and so that's 1300 American workers to hire 42,000 illegal immigrants at $16.50 an hour. Plus housing, plus legal aid. This is fucking crazy. They are seriously, before too long, I'm telling you, in like five to ten years, melanated people, what you going to do in the hood? What are you going to do? They're giving all of the jobs and all the resources to the niggas who just coming into the league and taking them from you. Your resource that you pay for. <laughs> they're giving them to people who are coming to steal like, coming to steal your shit. So fuck Tyson Foods. If you get Tyson Foods, you should be boycotting Tyson Foods. That's what's going on right now. Everybody's pushing to boycott Tyson Foods. We need to jump on that shit. <clears throat> because then they said they wanted to bump up the 42,000 employees, in illegal immigrant employees, to 82,000 by the end of next year. They fired all the American employees and then want to hire 82,000 illegal immigrants. Holy shit. <laughs> what are we going to do, melanated people? This is a, this is like a full court press on trying to replace the poor people in the hood. It's really not even just, it's more than just melanated people. They're replacing all the lower class people. In the, in the communities. <clears throat> it just so happened that melanated people and Hispanics, we occupy more of the lower, the lower income community. So that's where they're going to move into. Overcrowding us, eventually what's going to happen? We're going to start, the hoods are going to start fighting. But you know what's going to happen? A lot of them cats, they're going to be organized. They're going to organize in these little groups and gangs and shit where niggas don't have no organization. So eventually, they'll take over those areas because of the organization. So, melanated people, we need to get on we need to get on the on the on the good foot <laughs> cuz it don't look good to us too good for us in the next 10 years. Cuz then, again at the border, there was a Hezbollah terrorist who was caught at the border, he said he was headed to New York to blow it up, to create it, to make a bomb and blow up something in New York. This is a, a Hezbollah terrorist. They asked him, what you doing here? This nigga said, <laughs> I mean, goddamn, nigga, you ain't never heard of, uh, I don't answer questions. So, <laughs> But he answered the question. He said, I came here to make a bomb and blow up America and blow up New York. Not America, but New York specifically. New York, y'all better watch out. All my New York people, please be careful. They're letting way too many cats into New York. Yo, Amir Hayes, appreciate you. Thank you for the cash app. They're letting way too many damn people into New York and cats that say they want to make a, make a bomb and blow up New York. So... That is crazy. <laughs> Luckily, they caught him. I don't know. I don't know. How, well, I don't know how they caught him, but he must. They must have caught him on a. They must have saw him on a terrorist watch list. So, they said the border is going to be overrun because this is just the beginning. They said this summer is going to crank up because a bunch of people are going to be trying to get here before. Trump gets in the office. They really believe that Trump is going to get reelected and close down the border. So they're only, we're not seeing as many right now because this is the cold weather. A lot of them don't travel during the cold weather. Excuse me. But when the summertime kick up, 
you gonna see <laughs> you gonna see Mari whole mariachi bands and <laughs> motherfucking uh, African tribes <laughs> it's coming across the goddamn border. You gonna see niggas carrying fucking dead dead uh, fucking antelopes and shit. <laughs> you gonna niggas riding on the lion and shit. <laughs> riding on the fucking <laughs> nigga on the back of a zebra with a goddamn. <laughs> We gonna see all kind of niggas from every goddamn where. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Everybody coming before the summer's up. I'm trying to tell you, the summertime is gonna kick this shit up. So, man, uh, we can die. we are in a fucked up place right now at the border. So moving along, the Supreme Court. <laughs> is right now they're having a session right now today where they're ruling they're they're uh deliberating <clears throat> on and they they're in favor right now it looks like they're in favor of ruling and in, in ruling in favor of the Biden administration being able to censor free speech on social media on social media platforms if the government deems the disinform it's, it's it's misinformation and dis disinformation and it's dangerous to the american public so this is the arguments that are going on at the supreme court right now now they just ruled though this just came out yesterday they said that uh politicians american politicians can't block their constituents on social media so if like if you if, if a politician has like a certain district, he's a he's a you know he's a, a you know alderman or or, or a councilman or somebody like that or even a, a, a you know a federal representative of a certain district. If they're on Twitter and you want to talk to them, and you want to you want to you know uh, you know voice your grievances. People, so what they've been doing is blocking people. If they don't want to hear it, and it started with the it started with the COV one nine. So they started blocking people because they didn't want the truth getting out about you know what people thought. They didn't want they didn't want it picking up, <clears throat> you know, getting in people's ear, and you know it you know it going around and people like what, what what about the what about the crack scene? What about the crack scene? So they started blocking anybody who started talking about the crack scene. So now the Supreme Court ruled that they can't do that. They can't block their constituents anymore. So. That's move. That's a good. That's a that's that's a good one. Now, usually when they hit you with a good one, they probably hit you, smack you with a bad one. So right now, right as we talk, they're right now deliberating on whether to let Biden censor Americans on you know on uh, social media. This shit is crazy. So then, these are basically signs of america dying if you see this type of stuff so like the reason the supreme court let they went back on their ruling with texas was because if texas when texas said i don't give a shit what you say we're going to arrest people anyway that makes the supreme court look bad like they don't have any power because in essence and true in reality the same the supreme court power has no power truly the only power the supreme court has is that everyone agrees to go along with the rulings because they don't have a police force they don't have an army so none of their rulings can actually be enforced so the the reason that we go along with the supreme court is because we want to keep civil civilization in order and in order to do that we have to have some type of framework some type of system that we all adhere to some type of legal system of laws that we all adhere to so that's why we all agree with, the, with going along. So the states enforce the Supreme Court. But if states don't, you know, they choose not to support, uh, you know, to enforce Supreme Court rulings, then what's going to happen? Who are they going to do? <laughs> Who are they going to send? They can get they can try to get Biden and them to send to do something. But the states have the National Guard. Then you're going to have the army against the National Guard, the state National Guard. Then what pops off? So you're seeing right now, America, the, the system of America is being broken down because they're destroying it, trying to take out Trump. Like, so they're destroying everything, every fabric of the government 
in order to try to take out one dude. And, and they think the dude that they think is the devil. But in doing that, they're the ones who are becoming the evil people, destroying the very system that they rely on. Trying to take out who they perceive as the devil. So, this is some bullshit, <laughs> for sure. But it's some good shit, too. Because America, the way America is run, and the way it was built, it was built on bullshit. It was. No matter how great America is, it's built on so much fuckery that they've done to different countries that that energy would have to come back in some form. And it's coming back now. And so this is how you're, they're getting, America's getting hit from 50 million sides, <clears throat> draining the energy of America, getting hit with immigrants, take, sending money out on wars, politicians stealing money, uh, all kinds of shit, just draining the system. Sending so many immigrants to, 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 to communities that don't have the resources already without the illegal, without the rush of millions of illegal immigrants. This shit tears a whole goddamn country system down. The influx of all of these damn, these are stress points. So if you had all these different, if you had a body and you have all these different stress points on the body, eventually the body would break down. If you're hitting it from all different points and angles with a bunch of stress. So, but America, like I said, America needs to change. The government needs to change. So what are we going to change it to? Once it breaks down, we're going to have to remake it. It's going to break down eventually because it's built on fuck shit. <laughs> so it has to break down. The karma is coming back. We're in the age of karma right now. This new age brings sense karma up your ass like a motherfucker. <laughs> so America is getting a healthy dose of karma, a banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> so what are, what are you going to do? How are we going to remake it so that it's an advantage to us in the future? Because it hasn't been so far. No matter what a bunch of Caucasians say, <laughs> You America's you you can do anything you want in America. Yeah, I I'm gonna say I agree with that because, if, because ultimately you're God and your mental state controls what you do. So ultimately, yeah. But to act like the system is not rigged to hold niggas back, so niggas have to work harder within the system to do shit, which is not you know which is not a fair thing. So this system is gonna be remade remade into something. Oh shit! What is it going? <laughs> what is it going to be? I have no idea. But uh, Ketanji Brown, one of the Supreme Court people, she said, and she when in ruling, uh, trying to rule against the social media, she said, the Supreme Court should be able to protect the public from bad things, right? Basically, the First Amendment. So they were, this is ruling on the First Amendment. So the First Amendment is to protect you from the government. And the Supreme Court is supposed to know that. But the Supreme Court, this chick, Ketanji Brown, she was, she said that the government should, the, or that the first, this is what she said, the First Amendment hamstrings the government from being able to protect the people. <laughs> so... This is some crazy shit. The, gov the, first, the First Amendment is supposed to protect the people from the government. That's the whole point. It's supposed to hamstring the government. You crazy ass motherfucker. <laughs> so, one immaculate. Appreciate you, brother. He says, I, 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 I won't deny. <laughs> but, uh, shout out to Eddie Murphy. <clears throat> but, so, this is the crazy, this is why I'm saying America is about to be broken down, but what are you going to do when it does? Don't sit around and just watch it like, I'm just in it, but not of it. I'm just in it, but not of it. You're going to be affected by it. You're going to be affected by it. And so, at this point, we need to get together on some point level, because if we don't have unity, the, the influx of these illegal immigrants, that's the only thing that you will have over them is to be able to unify because you know the terrain, you know the landscape better than they do. But once they get over here and start learning the landscape and learning how things work, and then they already are, they already know how to unify because they brought that from their own country, what's going to happen to melanated people? What you, what, what's going to happen then? When they foot, when they learn the game, the only point, the only thing you got over them right now is you know the game better than they do because you've been let you 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 uh were born here. So. You better figure that shit out, Melanie people. <laughs> Please figure it out. So, 
New York Times has basically admitted that there's a deep state, which we already knew. They said there's a deep state, and uh, it's an awesome thing. The New York Times said there is a deep state, and it's awesome. Now, Trump said it was a deep state for I don't know how many times. Every other speech, this nigga said, deep state, the deep state, the deep state. And they said, you're crazy. Trump is crazy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Trump is crazy. <laughs> Trump said, he's crazy. There's no such thing as a deep state. And then the New York Times was like, uh, not so fast. <laughs> Deep state. <laughs> Yo, who was that? Uh, Aaron Wilson. Appreciate you. Thank you for the cash app, brother. Not so fast. <laughs> yeah, deep state. Heap state. You know, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But they said there is a deep state. Now, they tried to spoof it and said that the deep state. So, you know, so they did a video on it. And they tried to say the deep state is the hardworking men and women who have been embedded in the in the bu bureaus of America for so long, and they make things happen, right? They're the ones who are behind the scenes, who make America run, and you don't ever hear about them. This is the this is the story, but <laughs> that's the bullshit. See, that's the propaganda. That's the propaganda. Now, the deep state, though, is really. The unelected officials, this, so you got unelected uh, unelected officials like lobbyists. These are corporations and lobbyists and or people who represent corporations like lobbyists. And they link up with the politicians who don't ever get voted out of office. These lifelong politicians who get voted out of office. They link up with them and... They and thereby creating a deep state of basically what they mean a deep state is the state or a, a rulership that never leaves. That's why they're so deep because they like Nancy Pelosi, who've been a guy who've been a senator for like forty years, and uh, what's old boy Chuck Mitch McConnell, he had been a senator for forty years, and Biden, who've been a senator for fifty years, and all that's the deep state. These people who are embedded in the government forever and don't ever leave. But they're linked with the corporations to to subvert the, to subvert the government or the American people, right? To rob you, basically. So that's what the deep state is. And then the shadow government is all of the in, uh, intelligence agencies combined, right? So you have all the intelligence agencies combined. That's the shadow government being run by one plutocracy. Basically, plutocracy are the rich people, rich or rulership by the, the richest people, right? So. They run the intelligence agencies. That's the that's the that's the uh, um, so the deep state and the shadow government. So those are the that's the definition between the two. But the Times just admitted there was a deep state. So <clears throat> now they did that because they have to tell you the truth. Remember, they have to tell you the truth before some fuck shit happens. Now there's some word that. There may be some shit getting ready to go down. <laughs> there's a lot of word. There's a lot of shit. There's some shit that may be getting ready to go down. So, again, they tell you what's going on before the fuck shit happens. <laughs> so, we don't know what's getting ready to happen. But the fact that it's in the New York Times and they try to tell you that there is a government behind the government. That's, a you know, again, that's them letting you know the... The sky is falling before it falls. So, but again, we're going to talk about Trump because Trump ain't no, uh, Trump is not some savior though. I want people to believe that Trump is some type of savior. Trump is for New Kazaria. He said, if you ain't for New Kazaria, what'd he say? Uh, he said, if you not, if you, if you're a GOP, if you're, if you're a Republican and you're not for New Kazaria, Israel, then you ain't Jewish. <laughs> of course. Everybody in the damn GOP in the Republican Party ain't Jewish. <laughs> but this nigga said if you ain't if you don't vote for the if you don't vote for Israel, if you ain't down with Israel, you ain't Jewish. Okay, I'm cool with that. <laughs> nigga, I'm, no, I'm not Jewish. But so Trump is for that and then he's also about to put, implement a police state. Trump is for uh, what do you call uh, police protections? He's for implementing greater police uh, police protections when they violate your constitutional rights. 
because he said that police can't be expected to do their job if they're if lawsuits are hanging over their heads so he's pushing for greater protections against police officers so he's going to be the one to actually implement the police state i just want y'all to be aware of that he's going to save you from globalism yeah but in america he's going to be the one to implement the police state i just want y'all to be aware of that so moving along the boeing whistleblower told y'all about last week who had who committed suicide, right? <laughs> or unalived itself. Uh, the Boeing whistleblower, he basically, he was planning, they came out the night that he was killed, that he was taken out, he was actually planning to go home. He was planning to go home because remember, he was testifying uh, against Boeing. And so he had planned to go home. He had testified for a few days. He had planned to go home. This is what came out. Boeing called him that day, that night, and said, can you stay one more day for us? Can you stay one more day? We need you to testify one more day. Just one more day. And then the nigga was killed that night. <laughs> now, Boeing is like, that's just a coincidence, everybody. We didn't do nothing. We didn't do a goddamn thing. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know, that's a coincidence. co in so dense. <laughs> Just saying. He pla he so basically, he committed he committed he unalived himself when he planned to go home. He was pat he had packed up and was planning to drive planning to go home. Told people he was coming home and then told his friend who was a girl that if I don't make it home, or if I, if I, if I, basically, what she, what did she say? He said, if, if I don't make it home, or if, if I, if you find, if I come up, you know, kick the bucket, he said, I didn't do it to myself. <laughs> this is what he said. If I kick, if you find that I kicked the bucket and they say I did it to myself, I didn't do it to myself because he called before, he, he was suspicious that Boeing had asked him to stay. So that's when he called and said, yo, they asked me to stay to testify. So if I come up missing, I didn't do it. <laughs> and Boeing is like, we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we don't know what the fuck y'all niggas talking about. They called him, man. Oh, my God. This is, the, nigga, this is blatant. This is like a plot of a goddamn movie. Y'all ever see, um... Uh, what is the movie? Uh, A Few Good Men. With, um, what's the name? Uh, Tom Cruise. So the plot of that movie, spoilers, real quick. You, you should have seen it by now. The shit is like 40 years old. But uh, the plot of that movie is uh, <laughs> that there was a dude, Santi Private Santiago, got killed, right? And so they were trying to figure out was he was whether he was murdered or because they came out, they said that he had committed, he had underlived himself, right? So they invest through the investigation, they found out they, they were in court and they said that they showed that Santiago, private Santiago, had packed up. He had packed up all his things. Or no, excuse me, he hadn't packed up. Excuse me. So they so this is kind of this is kind of reverse of that. So they were saying that Private Santiago was leaving. And Private Santiago, when they went and searched his room, he hadn't packed up anything. So it's the same type of thing. So it's the it's, it's it's the it's the plot of a few good men in reverse. The Boeing nigga was leaving. He said he was leaving, and he packed up all his shit and found it packed up. In the movie, dude, they said that homeboy was supposed to be going home, but when they went and searched his shit, he hadn't packed up anything. So this is how they kind of piece two two and two together. So y'all can do the same. <laughs> you can do the same piecing the piecing together, but uh, that Boeing nigga did not. He did not take himself out, and we knew that, but now they basically got circumstantial evidence that he did that. So we know they was with the bullshit. Don't get on any Boeing planes, everybody. Please don't get on any Boeing planes. United Airlines, most of their planes are Boeing. Alaska Airlines, most of their planes are Boeing. Another, some shit just happened again with the, with the Boeing plane. Uh, the window, the, 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 window sh the windshield cracked in a plane this a couple days ago. <laughs> and another Boeing plane. When they land, the window, the window cracked <laughs> as they was flying the plane. 
Please, people, do not get on any Boeing planes. It's a miracle that nothing has happened yet. <laughs> it's a damn miracle that shit, nothing has happened yet. So, moving along. Uh, did you see that? Uh, there was a whistleblower in court that basically he was Baby Biden's business partner. Man, try to say that three times fast. Baby Biden's business partner was in, was in court, and he basically said that Joe Biden was in on the was in on the getting the getting the cash basically getting bribes from China they were getting money through a, a certain corporation a, a a dummy not a dummy corporation but a shell corporation who was basically owned by the Chinese government and they was paying Biden and they brought this out in court and uh AOC went crazy in court <laughs> and tried to basically link the link the whistleblower to Russia. Basically, you're a Russian spy. This is all Russia hoax and blah, blah, blah. So then AOC was like, well, name a crime. Name a crime. Name one crime. <laughs> she just goes, name a crime that Biden did. Name a crime. And so then the nigga was like, she kept, she kept talking, right? So that he couldn't speak. Name a crime. <laughs> And so then he was like, uh, well, if you let me speak, goddammit, uh, racketeering, uh, fr bribery, fraud, but he started running down the list. <laughs> and then she said, no, no, no. Then she tried to say racketeering is not a crime. Rico. Basically, the Rico is racketeering. Y'all don't know what the Rico, racketeering. <laughs> That's the statute that basically Rudy Giuliani created, like, to take down the mob. And so... They said, or the government created to take down the mob. And so he, she said that racketeering or RICO is not a crime. <laughs> she said it wasn't a crime. This bitch is crazy. It's the crime that put all the goddamn mob people in jail, but it ain't a crime for Joe Biden. Okay. Homegirl, is, she done lost her damn mind. But like I said, some shit is getting ready to go down because Obama was just seen in England. He was seen at the White House in England. Yo, Roger Groves, appreciate you. It says, Boeing gave a dude a cold red. Yup. <laughs> they gave dude a cold red. You've seen, you seen a few good men. <laughs> yup, they gave old boy a cold red. That's funny. <laughs> but uh, cold red, if y'all don't know, is, you know, if you didn't see the movie, cold red is in the military when uh, you fucking up and the the platoon leader or the CO always punishes the whole platoon because you keep messing up. <laughs> like you, you the one keep messing up, but the whole platoon keeps getting keeps getting punished. We got to do a bunch of push-ups. We got to do a bunch of laps. We got to do a whole bunch of bullshit, right? Because your ass keep messing up. So a code red is when the soldiers will get together and discipline the dude who keeps messing up. That's what a code red is. So that's what happened in the in the movie, and they accidentally killed the nigga. With a cold red. So shout out to Roger Roach for knowing that. But uh, Obama was seen in the UK at the White House at the UK. And they won't say what he was there for. Now, why is Obama, the former president, meeting with the president of the UK or the prime minister of the United Kingdom? You're not the president. You ain't supposed to be doing that. There's something called the Logan Act. That exists that says former presidents or politicians, government government officials can't undermine the the sitting president. They because it doesn't look good because it can't seem like that the uh, the country is not together. So if you're going over there, you can't be going and lobbying as a former president lobbying for something to happen while there's a point there's an as an actual president sitting on the you know sitting in the office right now. So this is a violation of the Logan Act, but Biden, Obama's over there drumming up some shit. What's getting ready to go down, y'all? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is getting ready to go down? You play, hey, y'all. Better get ready for some shit. That's all I'm saying. We got to get ready for some shit because we already re we remember that uh, Michelle Obama put the Mike Tyson <laughs> monkey knuckle on him. <laughs> <laughs> for for letting the cat out of the bag, the the ver the vericosa. <laughs> you weren't supposed to tell Barack. You weren't supposed to say anything. 
You weren't supposed to tell, Brooke. <laughs> he started choking that nigga up. Motherfucker! Motherfucker! <laughs> Allegedly. We don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> These are jokes, Michelle. <laughs> These are just jokes, Michelle. <laughs> Michael, Michelle. We don't... <laughs> but, uh... We heard... He put the, you put the monkey knuckle on Obama, <laughs> on a boom Barack for letting the cat out the bag. So that's all I'm saying. <laughs> she wasn't supposed to say anything. <laughs> all right, moving along. <laughs> moving along. Uh, Congress is uh, Congress is uh, playing Monopoly with your money again. Oh, they're playing basically Russian roulette with your money. Congress passes $1.2 trillion spending bill just two weeks. So basically, they passed it last night. If y'all didn't know, Congress just passed a bill like yesterday, last night. Why y'all wasn't looking? Y'all didn't know that, did you? Last night, Congress wrote up a $1.2 trillion spending bill because they was they were, apparently they said the government was going to shut down. So they wrote this damn bill up. The bill is a thousand pages. And they just submitted it last night. At the last minute, a thousand pages. Who the fuck gonna read that? Who the fuck is gonna read a bill a thousand pages long right before we got to vote on it? This show you how bullshit this is. None of them read the bills. They just pass, they just vote on them and pass shit. While other people with, with interest, with special interest, they're the ones who write the goddamn laws and they make them pass it. Excuse me. They basically, they make them pass the bill at the last moment so that nobody can uh, dispute the bill. So $1.2 trillion spending bill got passed last night then by the, by the House. Then the Senate had to pass it before 11.59 p.m. last night. Excuse me. They had till 11.50 p.m. last night. They did it. They passed the bill through, which means none of them read the shit. Nobody read it. But it is public information. So even though politicians didn't read it, reporters and journalists and, you know, everybody read it, right? They start going through it and picking it apart. So this was passed just two weeks ago. They already they passed a four hundred and sixty billion dollar spending bill for the intelligence agencies. Supposedly the intelligence agencies. They gave them four hundred and sixty billion dollars, right? So four hundred and sixty billion dollars two weeks ago. One point two trillion dollars last night. Where the fuck is all they they're getting all this goddamn money? They can give all this money to immigrants. They're flying in 350,000 immigrants. They flew in 350,000 fucking immigrants. Flew them in. Gave them, gave them money, hotel rooms and shit. They're getting all this money, but don't got no money for you. Okay. So in the bill, <laughs> somebody went through the bill and found out what was in the bill. The bill gives $300 million to Ukraine. $200 million for a new FBI headquarters. Holy shit. <laughs> a new FBI headquarters, which means they're about to start coming after niggas. $200 million to build a new FBI headquarters? Okay. Then some crazy shit like $500,000 goes to a closed hospital in Massachusetts. The hospital already closed. They're giving five hundred thousand dollars to the hospital, a closed hospital, to document the history of the hospital. Who gives a shit? It's closed. <laughs> Who gives a fuck about that goddamn hospital? We don't need to know the history of the goddamn hospital. And why do you need the government to pay for the the documentary on the history of your hospital? This is bullshit. What immaculate? Appreciate it. <laughs> he says, Mahabar Maha what Mahabharata. In, in 1984 page, 984 pages. Yep. It's fucking crazy. Thousand pages. $500,000 to a hospital to document 
what it was like when they was when they was open. <laughs> Who gives a shit? You ain't helping nobody now. So then the bill also funds open border policies. They give they give money to NGOs to help immigrants who helping illegal immigrants that get across the border. What well, NGOs is non-governmental organizations, y'all. So the money gives it, or the the bill gives money to non-governmental organizations who help the illegal immigrants get here and cross the border. <laughs> so you under asylum, as, helping the asylum seekers. That's what they call. These are NGOs who go to help asylum seekers, right? So then it gives a million dollars for Gay Senior Citizen Center. The Gay Senior Citizen Center gets a million dollars. What the? <laughs> this is some. <laughs> the Gay Senior Citizen Center <laughs> gets a million dollars. What the fuck? Then, this is crazy. $15 million goes for college tuition for school kids in Egypt. Who? What the fuck? Why are we funding college tuition for school kids in Egypt when you ain't doing it for Americans? What the fuck? This is insane shit, y'all. <laughs> $15 million for college tuition for school kids in Egypt. Egyptian niggas. <laughs> Egyptian niggas getting your money to go to school. How is Egyptian kids going to school going to help you? I want to know. Can anybody tell me? How is Egyptian kids going to school going to help you? Right here, you. Right there. Yep, you. <laughs> they ain't going to help you at all. What the fuck? <laughs> then, <laughs> keep it going. You got $400,000. $400,000 goes to teaching gender confusion to elementary schools. But they call it gender, uh, yeah, gender confusion, gender dysphoria, teaching about gender dysphoria. $400,000 to teach gender, excuse me, gender dysphoria to elementary school kids. Then <laughs> another $400,000 <laughs> to a group that gives clothes to teens that helps them hide their gender by with chest binders and tuckums. Tuckums. <laughs> like steakums, but tuckums. <laughs> what the entire fuck? So remember remember how Target had the tucking bathing suit? They could tuck their little shit behind their little thing. The... So we giving 400, well not we, American government. <laughs> If you give to the American government, that's you part of the we. But uh, we is giving four hundred thousand dollars, or American government is giving four hundred thousand dollars to a group that's gonna help kids bind their, help little women bind their breast when it's coming in naturally. It's supposed to be happening. They getting breast binders. They call them chest binders, but they're not chest binders. They're breast binders and tuckums. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is a tuckum? <laughs> Can anybody tell me what a fucking tuckum is? <laughs> I know you tuck the ball when you when you go through the line. You make sure you tuck the ball, make sure it's nice and secure, so they can't <laughs> you tuck that ball in, or you gonna be on the bench. I know that tuck. What the fuck is a tuckum? <laughs> Four hundred thousand dollars for tuckums. Great job. <laughs> Great goddamn job. <clears throat> so the Republicans is all pissed about that bill because it's a full of bullshit. So they voted to get the speaker out of the house. Another speaker is voted to get out of the house. Now they got to then they got to vote on another speaker. These niggas is crazy. That's what I'm saying. The government is flipped upside down right now. We in chaos right now. So we don't know what the fuck is about to pop off. <laughs> we have no idea what the, fuck the what the hell is about to pop off right now. But um, while all this tax money is going out which doesn't help any American citizens. They basically, there was a new report on how much it costs for you to live in America. 
as a single person, if you if you it's so if if you're if you have a partner, it's 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 a little easier. But if you single, this is what it costs for you. Yo, Marley K, thank you. They money <clears throat> they money for everything but reparations. I you can give that up. <laughs> Ain't no reparations. The illegal immigrants is getting your reparations. The fuck? <laughs> you talking about right now? They getting ten thousand dollars credit cards. They getting nine hundred dollar a room. They getting oh no, uh, what is it? Two hundred dollar a night rooms in luxury hotels. They getting first class flights over here. <laughs> what are you talking about? They got your reparations, nigga. <laughs> No reparations, they got it. But it cost if you're a single person living in America, so they had the top 25 cities in America and what it cost to live in the top 25 cities. Now remember, this is why your money is going to Egyptian kids' college funds. <laughs> the taxes that you make, that the high ass taxes and shit that you pay is going to Egyptian college funds. But this is what it costs to live as a single person in America. A hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars. So, if you're in New York, let me say this: This is if you live in New York as a single person to live to live comfortably. Let me say this: To live comfortably as a single person in New York, it costs you a hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars. That's fucking insane. Now, the median they said the median average is like ninety-eight thousand dollars in America. And so if you want to break it down, so the median in America for a single person to live in America comfortably as a single person in America, you need to be making 78, I mean, excuse me, $98,000 a year. Now, out of the top 25 ex most expensive places to live as a single person <laughs> in America, 12 of them are in California. That's what I'm saying. I might, I might be about to bounce up out of here, goddammit. <laughs> California is on some bullshit, y'all. Might be about to bounce. Texas, where you at? But Texas, y'all, man, them, it's the laws. Y'all, Texas laws are crazy. Texas or Florida, I might be coming. Or Tennessee. I might be seeing what's up with Tennessee. But California is on some bullshit right now. I might got to see what's happening. But they said, so California, so New York was number one, obviously. And Los Angeles was number 17 at $110,000 a year to live in Los Angeles comfortably. What they mean by comfortably is 50% 50, 50 of your income is spent on your expenses, like rent and, and lights and all the rest of that shit. And um, 30%, so it's 50, 30, 20. So 50% of your, your, your income is spent on your expenses. 30% is spent on the shit you like to do, like going to movies and, uh, you know, hanging out, that type of stuff, partying, whatever. And then 20% is set aside for savings. So this is what most successful people do. They do 50, 30, 20, right? So if you're able to do that. So they said in order for you to be able to do that, you need to be making at least $110,000 a year. <laughs> So now the cheapest city, which is why I said I might be have to check out Texas, Houston is the cheapest city with $75,000 a year. So <clears throat> that's crazy. So in every one of those cities, though, you need a minimum of like $102,000 a year to live comfortably. So again, while we're being priced out of the game in America, the government is taking your money and sending it <laughs> to sending it to other countries. This isn't fucking insane, yo. So but again, if you if you you know, you gotta locally start voting and getting people out of your offices and shit like that, man. You gotta get involved. A lot of times melanated people, we are apathetic to what's going on, so we get left behind. And you know who votes and gets and gets these people in offices? Melanated women. They vote they vote Democrat ninety eight percent. So melanated women are the ones or the people who put a lot of these people in offices. Now, <clears throat> you know, these are melanated women who don't know what they're doing. They just, you know, they, they've been voting this way for so damn long. They just stuck. They just stuck thinking that the, the Democrats are supposed to help their asses out or whatever. But 98 percent vote Democrat. And, and so if you uh, and that's who's running, that's who's fucking up the country right now.
Not that Republicans don't fuck up the country too. They all bullshit. Let me just say that. <laughs> Every all of these niggas is full of shit. <laughs> but right now, it's the Democrats trying to move America into a global, into a globalist government. And then you have people trying to keep America as a national government. And so you have these two factions fighting right now, and you're trying to figure out who's gonna win. But in them fighting, what they're gonna actually do is really break the government down which it needs to be broken down and revamped anyway because it don't work no more. Nobody's following the shit. So it's actually a good thing. It's going to be a bad thing for a minute, but only if you don't have any uh, contingency plans. I mean, if you're just sitting around watching this shit happen, like you're watching Young and the Restless or you know General Hospital or some shit, then your ass is going to get ate up. That's just how it works. But as long as we get together and start figuring out things and and develop a system of unity something that we never had before uh you know we're gonna be fucked up yo leah thank you for the cat for the super chat appreciate you thank you so much so moving along in rainbow news uh planet fitness has they basically they revoked a woman's membership i don't know if you've seen the video but they revoked a woman's membership after she complained about a Decepticon shaving in the women's locker room. So they, she, she worked out, went in the locker room, and again, it was a Decepticon in there. <laughs> in the mirror. Hi. Hi, ladies. You're looking good today, Carol. Great, great workout, Carol. Yeah, I saw you. Great, great squats. <laughs> this motherfucker's in the... <laughs> This nigga shaving. This nigga got a big ass hacksaw Jim Duggan beard. <laughs> he got one of the bushwhackers beards. <laughs> Hi, ladies. So, <laughs> the woman was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and the old lady walked in. She said, what the fuck is going on, nigga? What the, what the hell did I walk into? <laughs> this is some bullshit. <laughs> so, she went to tell uh the the manager and she got kicked out <laughs> now the fucked up thing was uh he was shaving he was in the locker room shaving in front of this little girl this 12 year old little girl she had her towel on and she was in the corner just fright terrified like i don't know what the fuck to do right now <laughs> like i can't do nothing this big ass burly motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scotty, Scotty Mutalio Bay, appreciate you. Thank you for the cash out, brother. Appreciate you. We got this big ass Sasquatch, <laughs> this Decepticon Sasquatch, shaving in the fucking in the mirror, acting like nothing's wrong. Nothing to see here. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, basically, so she went and told the manager she gets kicked out, right? So then she went back to come. She went back another day and complained about it. And then they revoked their membership. She gets canceled. The lady, the old lady got canceled. So she put the video when she went in there, she took the video though of the dude because they tried to say that there was no man in the locker room, but she had a video. Excuse me. The video comes out. Planet fitness stock drops $400 million in one day. Boom. <laughs> Because <laughs> people ain't with this shit no more. People just ain't with this shit. Nigga, we're not going to make you comfortable at the discomfort of this little girl. The whole world is supposed to cater to you to make these men, and this is about men. They ain't talking about they, these people are so worried about the patriarchy and all this, but it's men really doing this. Mostly men. 90% of this damn, uh, of the alphabet soup people doing this shit, of the Decepticons, is men. And so... You, you want us to make these the, all the women feel uncomfortable for this Decepticus, one Decepticon nigga. How's that inclusion? You're going to include him by excluding everybody else. That's how that shit works? No. Nah. So the people said no, and they started canceling their memberships to Planet Fitness. I got to cancel my damn plan, my membership to Planet Fitness. <laughs> I don't know how to... I ain't been to Planet Fitness in years, but I know I got a membership there. I need to learn. I need to figure out how to cancel that bitch. <laughs> but uh, people start canceling the memberships to Planet Fitness, 
And they were like, hold on, man. Hold on. There was nothing, wasn't no dude in the locker room. That's bullshit. <laughs> now, come on, man. Come on, man. Man, we, we good, ain't we? We good. Come on, y'all. Hey, baby, plan the fitness. Me and you plan the fitness and the people. Baby, that's how we work, baby. We good, ain't we? And the people was like, nah, man, eat a dick, bitch. <laughs> no, you letting grown-ass men terrify little girls in your locker room, fool. No. So then people started calling up, asking if it was true. They, they, got, him on, they got him on tape. Lying said, no, no man was in the locker room. That's no. That didn't happen. <laughs> no, it didn't happen. So once that damn, once the tape got out and the video got out, uh, so this is a few days ago. I think there are even more now. I think it's even more than $400 million now. So Planet Fitness, EAD. <laughs> you go EAD. Because then they tried to come out and said, no, we we value the safety of women and blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, really, nigga? <laughs> you value the safety of women, nigga? Shut your bitch ass up. Yeah, everybody cancel your Planet Fitness because you don't know if you're going to run into... Uh, <laughs> Megatron or Starscream when you walk into the locker room. That's for anybody who knows about the Transformers. <laughs> you you gonna walk into you gonna walk in there <laughs> right into the, right into one of them, thinking you good, you safe and good. And this motherfucker walk out. <laughs> he walk out the goddamn shower <laughs> with his thing swinging. Hi ladies. Hi guys. Oh, we all ladies here? We're all ladies here, right? <laughs> like, no, bitch! <laughs> Show bitch ass out of here. So then, moving along, in Scotland, so in Scotland, uh, <laughs> they, basically, that's William Wallace, William Wallace country. If you've seen uh, Braveheart, they can't take our freedom! <laughs> Shout out to William Wallace. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Uh, Mel Gibson. It's what we do. It's true. They can't take our freedom. But in Scotland, uh, they're taking your, they are taking your freedom. <laughs> in Scotland. I don't know if you was telling the truth, William Wallace, nigga. I'm calling, I'm, I'm saying bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on William Wallace. That's cap, nigga, because... Uh, the new law in Scotland says children can be charged with a crime for taunting on the playground. <laughs> what? <laughs> little kids, which is what little kids do, they talk shit all day. <laughs> if you've been around a little kid, nobody is safe. <laughs> no one is safe from the roasting of a little kid. You understand me? <laughs> when I see a little kid, why your eye like that? <laughs> they touch your, why your eye like that? They put their finger all in your eye and shit. <laughs> why your eye like that? <laughs> Get your little ass out the way. Wait, little bitch ass nigga. I'll slap you. <laughs> Get your little bitch ass out of here. Kids don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> Can you see out of that eye? <laughs> Like, bitch, little motherfucker. <laughs> so, what the hell? Kids do that, man. That's what kids do. <laughs> Even though if you want to smack a little bitch ass nigga, you better put your finger, put your finger in my eye one more time, little nigga. <laughs> but that's even though you want to smack him up, that's what kids do. <laughs> Shit. Yo, Roger Rose, appreciate you. <laughs> says, he says, damn, too, damn too. Oh, damn the Wong Fu fitness. <laughs> yeah, y'all seen, yeah, that was, oh man, that's the, that's the worst movie ever. Wesley Snipes in a dress. Oh, Wong to Wong Fu. Oh my God. <laughs> that's some bullshit. But watch out, little kids in Scotland, parents in Scotland, because I got some people watch me in Ireland and Scotland and shit, which is crazy. I be tripping. <laughs> Honestly, I be tripping out like shout out from Scotland. Hey, nigga, what's happening? So people in Scotland, <laughs> if, if you're watching, your kids can be locked up for talking shit on the playground. Now you know this is for if they if they call someone who feels that they're 
uh, if a little boy feels that they're a girl, you know, and if a girl, little girl feels that they're a boy and the little kid clowns them, that's what this is for. Y'all know that's what this is for, right? So they're trying to get, they're trying to get or indoctrinate the kids early, trying to get them, mold them into or beat them to submission. <laughs> What up, Ascending Infinite Goddess? What's poppin', girl? Pisces. <laughs> What's up, Pisces people? But, uh, yeah, little kids are assholes. <laughs> That's just the long and short of it. Little, uh, infinite, infinite, uh, Ascending Infinite Goddess, you got kids? <laughs> I know they talk shit to you every day, don't they? <laughs> I, I'm sure. I'm trying to tell you, man, I done had, I done had the missiles come at me from the little kids so much so I just, I had to develop armor. <laughs> around these little, hey, little bitch, hey, look at you, little nigga. Don't make me, don't make me take you somewhere and drop you off and leave you on the corner. <laughs> but shout out to the little kids. That's what they supposed to do. They, that's why they're great because they tell the truth. They say what's on their mind. They're not corrupt until they get jaded by the world, by grown people who get corrupted and then try to pass on your corruption to. The children, leave them alone. Let them tell the truth. That's what we suppose. That's what that's what's wrong with the goddamn trying to be nice to every goddamn body. Now everybody think they do. Every woman think they dudes, <laughs> and every dude think they woman. That's what's wrong. You ain't saying nothing. You trying to be so damn nice. <laughs> Don't say nothing. Mister, what what is that? The, um, the emperor's new clothes. Isn't that the syndrome? Where the emperor? You ever know that story? Where the emperor they walked in. This nigga was butt ass naked, <laughs> and nobody said anything. <laughs> Ascending infinite goddess, appreciate you. Thank you. I see you with the eights. Appreciate you. He said, Kev, you wild as <laughs> you wild as fuck. <laughs> AM. Uh, I'm over here. Oh, my man. I'm over here choking on my smoke. <laughs> my smoke behind you. Love you, King. Keep talking. For sure. Appreciate you. <laughs> but you know, little kids, man, I done had that all the time. I'm, you know how many dirty ass fingers been around my eye? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> My little bitch ass nigga. Uh, <laughs> but we love the kids. Kevin can't love the kids. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? That's why I would take you out if you hurt a kid. I have to take you out, man. That's one, that's the one no-no. I will take you out if you if you hurt a kid. So Scotland, you on my list. Man, kids should be able to say what they want. They're going to you're going to make these kids have complex complexes and not be able to speak out and express themselves if they for fear of being reprimanded for just speaking their mind. Come on, man. That's not cool. So, thumbs down to Scotland. They will take your freedom. All right, and moving along. And uh the science and the weird news, uh a man makes his first tweet with Neuralink. Did y'all see it? Nigga made his first, what is it, tweet or X? Or what is it now, y'all? I'm not on the thing. Is it a tweet? Is it an X? How is it an X? How do you X? <laughs> that, don't, that don't sound right. <laughs> he made his first X <laughs> with, a, with, with, with Neuralink. But, so I'm going to say tweet because I can't say X. So he made his first tweet with Neuralink. And he was playing chess. This nigga was playing smooth game of computer chess. It's going down, y'all. This shit is here. <laughs> this shit is here. Uh, now, what I want to know, so basically, Skynet is damn near in full effect, right? <laughs> Skynet is in full goddamn effect. And everybody know it. Because the United Nations just came out, all 198 nations in the UN, they passed uh, a resolution or some type of thing to bolster the, what is it? To bolster the protections against AI. The, nat the world protection, like world defense. Excuse me. To bolster the world defense against AI. They, all of them just signed this in the, in the United Nations. Now, what the fuck... Excuse me. What the hell is going to go down? Why is the United Nations coming up with a bill, a defense bill, 
against AI. And all 198 nations are on board, right? So what's going what's going to go down, y'all? They know I they got to know something that we don't know. Because then how long is it before AI starts hacking people's neural links? See? How long before AI figures out it can just hack a nigga's neural link? <laughs> And then the AI will experience life through the nigga with the, with the neural link. This is going to be how the AI can vicariously live and experience the physical world through a goddamn, what the fuck? <laughs> through a goddamn drone. Y'all ever see the Stepford Wives? <laughs> Y'all ever see that shit? It's old. I think it was like an old TV series that came out back in the day, The Stepford Wives. Then it, it they made sequels to it. But these are like these are like robot these are robot bitches <laughs> who, who became wives of these men, these powerful men. And then they started malfunctioning, <laughs> they started going off and just taking niggas out. <laughs> Stepford Wives went crazy on these niggas, <clears throat> motherfucker. I'm not making any more pot rolls, pot rolls, pot rolls, pot rolls, pot rolls. <laughs> they start killing motherfuckers. Fuck pot rolls, fuck pot rolls, fuck pot rolls. <laughs> so what has happened? What happens when AI hacks a nigga's neural link? What happens? Drones. You will have AI human drones. Yet. <laughs> Did anybody think of that? Elon, bitch, <laughs> before you just released this shit? Did you think about the AI hacking the Neuralink? Okay, no, I'm sure he didn't. <clears throat> because then Neuralink's next project <laughs> is going to be to help blind people. It's called Blind Sight. That's the name of the program, the Neuralink Next program. It's called Blind Sight. And it's going to help people who are born blind at birth. It's going to help them to see. It's called Blind Sight. And so they said technology is already in working in monkeys. Blind monkey. Where the fuck you get blind monkey from? Where you get a blind monkey? I need to know, Elon, where in the fuck is you finding a blind monkey? And then let alone a bunch of blind monkeys <laughs> that you can experiment on. Where the hell are you finding all these blind monkeys at, Elon? Elon's with the bullshit. This nigga is making monkeys blind and testing this shit on these monkeys. Monkeys ain't just coming up blind like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> nigga just falling out of trees and shit. Where you get fucking blind monkeys just falling out of trees, nigga? <laughs> that ain't happening. That ain't natural. This nigga Elon <laughs> is stabbing like monkeys in the eye and shit. What the hell, man? This is bullshit, Elon. You you are not finding blind monkeys just falling out of trees and he's picking them up on the ground. One, two. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> he just like a bunch of blind monkeys on the ground. Not happening. Elon is killing monkeys. So then he said, Musk claims on his X platform that the device delivers early Nintendo graphics. So if y'all remember Nintendo, but when it, when it first came out, the 16-bit Nintendo, Mario Brothers, the first Mario, Super Mario, Donkey Kong, all of that. Y'all remember that? So he said that the person will be able to see in their mind, they're going to see that. The first Nintendo visual. That's what they will be seeing in their mind. Goddamn. That's, um, <clears throat> what was that? That's that's uh, Star Trek Next Generation. Your boy, uh, Kut Kente. LeVar Burton. He played uh, Jordy LaForge. Mr. LaForge. Mr. LaForge. Come here, Mr. LaForge. 
engage. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> to the uh, Star Trek Next Generation. But uh, you're going to be seeing like, if you saw Star Trek, if you saw him when he had his visor on, he was blind. He, and when he saw, he could see computer images. That's how he, that's how Jordy LaForge could see through computer image. <laughs> so that's what he said you're going to be seeing. Yo, Tyrone Terry, appreciate you. He says, better go watch Westworld. Oh, I haven't seen, I haven't seen Westworld. I haven't seen that. <clears throat> I heard only the first season is good though. And so that's why I didn't want to get into it because they said after the first season, they messed it up. So I don't like getting into some shit and then it messes and then it, it goes south. So I didn't want to waste my time with it. But I might check it out. But uh, a bunch of, so they're trying to, they're curing the blind monkey. So again, so he says, how long will it be before someone is able to hack? <clears throat> this is what it, somebody asked, uh, Oh, wait a minute. No, my bad. So basically, this is this uh, future versions. Excuse me. I missed it. So future versions of the new implant, he said, may exceed normal human vision. You're going to be able to see better with, what is it, blind sight than you would be able to see with your own eyes, apparently. He going to get niggas heat vision and shit. <laughs> you going to get night vision. You going to have a heat sensor. <laughs> you're gonna have all kinds of shit. You're gonna have uh <clears throat> what is it the magnifying zoom scope, electro electro magnifying glass and that shit. They're gonna get <laughs> you gonna have all kinds of shit. You're gonna be like Robocop. So basically you're gonna have vision like Robocop. And so it says if blind sight remains true to its its first excuse me, if blind sight remains true to its first unnamed tease presented during the Neuralink show. Intel in late 2002, because this is when they introduced it, the implant will be able to repackage digital, repackage a digital camera into electrical impulses compatible for delivery straight into the visual cortex. That's what they said. So it's going to take a, a digital camera and take the whatever the camera sees like a, whatever like a camera sees and repackage it so it'll be like a camera i guess the camera would be on the link because basically they attach the shit to your head right it's not implanted i think they they embed it and it's on the outside of your head so it may have a camera on it <clears throat> or a bunch of cameras that's taking in the images the outside images and then re you know repositioning them making them look like nintendo to the person and then eventually you're going to have 4K, is what he's saying. <laughs> so it started, it's going to start off like Nintendo, then you're going to get 4K. Goddamn. And then, how long before AI hacks that shit? <laughs> how long before AI hacks that? And have you seen all kind of crazy shit? What if AI makes you see a nuclear war? You get that shit and AI makes you see nuclear war or it makes you see something that go and kill somebody or anything like that. Man, we are on the verge of some crazy shit. Yeah, cray cray. <laughs> we are literally on the verge of the outer limits, the all that, the, the twilight zone. We is here <laughs> because in the next science, the next crazy science story, <laughs> a woman paid $50,000 <clears throat> for two clones of her late of her late cat created by a Texas bio company that used uh, the dead pet's DNA to create genetic twins. So she took her, her, her basically her cat got hit by a car. Her cat got hit by a car. It was a five year old cat. She was so in, in, you know so distraught in such pain. That she took the DNA, she took the dead cat DNA, a leg, she took the dead leg, <laughs> she took a cat leg to the to the lab and said, uh, clone me <clears throat> two of my cats. Basically, so if one died, she got a, she got one left. She did a two for one. <laughs> she like, fuck this shit. I ain't going through this shit no more. Give me two cats, because if one get hit by a car, I still got another one. So 
she had two cats cloned and they got them in her house. Now, has anybody seen Pet Cemetery? Have you seen that movie? Pet Cemetery? <laughs> Did y'all see when they bought the cat back? <laughs> <laughs> when they tried to bring the cat back, oh baby. <laughs> mm -mm. No, mm -mm. <laughs> Pet cemetery got me. Uh uh. No pets in my house. <laughs> no, buddy. Let me tell you right now. Pet, let me get why I ain't got no pets. Pet cemetery and the movie Cat's Eye. Two Stephen King movies. Bitch ass Stephen King. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me when I was a little kid. Pet Cemetery, go watch Pet Cemetery and Cat's Eye. Them two movies scared the shit out of me <laughs> when I was a kid. Now, the Cat's Eye movie, the cat wasn't bad. It was protecting uh, a little girl from another little troll thing. But that little troll thing scared the shit out of me. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, so she got, how long before the Pet Cemetery cat started tripping out on her? Because it says, Chris Stewart, beloved cat bear, died at just five years old. So she wanted him back. After two unsuccessful attempts, Texas Biotech Viagen, Viagen cloned two new kittens. And it says the new kittens were created through somatic cell cloning, which involved transferring the nucleus of one of Bear's cells into a new egg, into a new egg cell. The egg was then implanted in a surrogate mother who gave birth to the cats that had 0% of her DNA, but 100% of the dead cat's DNA. Whoa. So even though the two clones cats was in another cat, it had none of the cats, none of the cat's genes, the, the surrogate cat's genes got into the two clone cats. This is a complete clone of the mother cats. Holy shit. They about to start cloning niggas. I'm going to tell you, in 10 years, they about to start cloning people. You done lost your, you done lost your wife with a fat booty? Hey, girl, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, girl. God damn, she was my love of my life. I loved her. We was like this. She was the love of my life. God damn, I'm going to miss you, girl. Let me get a little piece of that hair out before you put her in the ground, uh, Reverend. Um, take this little hair piece. Uh, doctor, can you recreate this booty with this hair? <laughs> Here you go. Make, make that booty was so good, doctor. I need, need can you create two? Two? Two booty? Oh, god damn, nigga. <laughs> so that's what's going to happen. Yo, Bio Rain, thank you. He says, you can't live comfortably in New York. Go on vacation for two weeks. <clears throat> Migrants take your crib, yep. <laughs> that's for sure. Appreciate you. So, let me tell you, who gonna get? Who gonna start cloning? Let me tell you right now. You, you go, <laughs> you your dead husband, your dead, your dead wife, your mama. Who was? Who would not want to clone? Now I know a lot of people think it's gonna it's gonna be some evil shit, but eventually, newer people who don't understand the spirituality of it will eventually start cloning their relatives back. And now we got a world of pet cemetery niggas. <laughs> Because if you haven't seen Pet Cemetery, please <laughs> go see Pet Cemetery. Because goddamn. But uh, so now I guess you it's in Texas. Because she wasn't in Texas though. She's not from Texas. So maybe. For, so first it's crazy. So the cloning place is in Texas, but she's not in Texas. She in another country. And she used the Texas place. To cre recreate her cats. Now, does that mean you can go to Texas and get clones? Because now, that means cloning Tyrone is really starting to look like a real damn movie. <laughs> that clone Tyrone is starting to look realer and realer every day. Now, and realer ain't a word. <laughs> I just said that. That's my word. More real. But it's looking, it's looking, it's looking like that every day. Like, you're going to get... They clone Tyrone. And it's in Texas where a bunch of niggas are. <laughs> so 
Y'all niggas ain't they, you gonna be falling out of trees like them like them blind monkeys. <laughs> and he'll start picking up niggas. Ooh, one. <laughs> uh, got drunk. Yeah, good. <laughs> Y'all gonna be some blind monkeys falling out of trees, niggas. Watch out in Texas. I don't know now. Let's see, I was thinking about moving to Texas. Now that y'all got a cloning facility in Texas. I don't know now. Then moving along. Last thing. <clears throat> in nigga news. Just a quick thing. Because it and this is I'm not I didn't want to talk about this for the interview, but it, he made this person made a point within the interview and I want to talk about. So I don't know if you saw Godfrey, the comedian Godfrey on uh Shannon Sharp show. Now Godfrey pretty funny. He's the dude who do uh he does the Steve Harvey uh, impersonations. What? Why? Where? When? What? What? Where? <laughs> so he does. He does the Steve Harvey. <laughs> Shout out to Steve Harvey. Uh, just a lot of people don't know. I used to let Steve Harvey. So back in the day, when Steve Harvey was on the radio, <clears throat> and I was working for LA Fitness. I used to open LA Fitness before I would train. And so Steve Harvey was he? Like I said, he was a radio. He was a the radio DJ or you know, on the radio. So he would come to, he would come to LA Fitness in the morning. I would let him in before LA Fitness opened. And so we worked out together, him and his two bodyguards. Shout out to Terrence. But, uh, so shout out to Steve Harvey. He was a funny nigga. He was a funny cat. But, uh, Godfrey was, was doing, he was on Steve, I mean, on Shannon Sharp. And, uh, he basically was telling the story about his, his him and his homeboy was talking to a a, a drug dealer apparently in and one of the biggest cats in New York and he said that the guy was telling him that he went to, he took a trip to China cuz he was dealing with the triads and he said when he went there he said he's never scared of anything in his life he said he's never scared of never ever been scared of anything in his life but when he went to China and he went to the headquarters of the triads he said he was scared shitless because they were so organized. He said everything was so clean and they were so damn organized, it scared the shit out of them. So then he said he went and had a meeting with the big dude and the guy told him, he said, you know something? I wanted to know something. Uh, black people, he said, everyone love black people. Everyone, black people set the trend, the tr you set the trends. Everyone want to be like black people. Uh, what do you say? Uh, everyone want to copy you. Everyone jealous of black people. This is what this, this is what the tri the head of the triad told him. Everyone jealous of black people, but very easy. You have no unity. Very easy to break you up. He said, "Why? Why you have no unity? Very easy to break you up." This is what this nigga was told from the triad. If you haven't watched the interview. With Shannon Sharp and, and Godfrey. Good. It's a pretty funny interview. He's he's funny as hell. Godfrey's funny as hell. Shout out to Godfrey. But the triad understood that melanated people are easy to manipulate and break up because we have no unity. That was a bar he dropped right there. I don't even understand if people understand what that is. We'll meaning you can we'll never be able to get to the top because even when we get to the top, somebody can always bribe us to fuck off the other nigga. Always. That's what they're saying. In, at any point in time, no matter what, I can always find one of you niggas. One of you niggas to fuck off your other people. I can always do that. Whereas a lot of times in different cultures, they won't do that. They linked trying to find a, a Kzar to take out another Kzar when they linked in those groups like that. That ain't happening. Try to find a triad to turn over another triad. Not happening. Or Armenians. Try to fight, try to break the Armenians up. Not happening. <laughs> but niggas, if I offer you the Skrilla, because you know we know you ain't never had shit in your life, you're going to you're going to sell out your people, ain't you? No matter if you say no the first time, I'll just make the price higher. You say no the second time, okay. Make the go up a little higher. I see your price. I see you, my nigga. Your price is a little higher. 
You ain't, you know, you just don't sell out to everybody. Okay, we're going. And they keep going and going and going <clears throat> until you eventually cave in. Because they know the nigga will eventually cave in. Do y'all know what happened on the Trail of Tears? Do y'all know the story about what happened about the Cherokee? So the Cherokee's land was sold from under them by the two heads of the tribe, so-called tribe, but it was a nation. There's two cats who sold them out. Sold the land, all the land they had there, sold them out to all the, to the, colon, to the colonizers. Two niggas. <laughs> two niggas sold out the whole nation of Cherokees. So they had to get up off their land and bounce because of two bitch-ass niggas. Now, they killed them two niggas. <laughs> they, took, they took them two bitch-ass niggas out for sure. But what good did that do? The contract was already signed. <laughs> it was a done deal. The land was given up. And you're still feeling the repercussions. Excuse me. Melanated people are still feeling the repercussions of that to this day. You don't even know that you were aboriginals. You don't even know, most of y'all even know what y'all are Cherokees or Choctaws or Lenape's or any of these different nations. These 500, over, these over 500 nations, not tribes, 500 nations that the Americas had. You have no idea because a lot of the times you keep getting sold out by one, two niggas. Why is there no unity? At some point in time, you're going to have to figure out that's the test of you to get to the next phase of evolution, niggas. You have been you have been devolving because of the misuse of your information. Because you didn't disseminate it as Melon as Moors when we had all the knowledge, we didn't disseminate the information. We held on to it. Mm -hmm. Fuck you talking about uh, science, nigga? Science? What? Universal law? Fuck you talking about, nigga? I don't know nothing about no universal law, nigga. You better get, you better get on over. Get the fuck on away from me. <laughs> we are hoarding all the knowledge. When you do that, that means that leaves an imbalance in the world because the knowledge is not just for you. It's for the balance of the universe. So when you hoard it and you leave other beings out here without the information, you leave them to their own, you know, devices. To fuck up shit like children before they learn how to do shit correctly. But but when that happens, by the time they learn how to do the shit correctly, <laughs> they done tore up, they done messed up everything. Yo, transcendental, thank you. So I was waiting for your take on Candace O and Ben Shapiro falling out over the Gaza. Uh, I ain't really got no opinion on that. Kansas Kansas been talking about the Kazars. And Ben Shapiro, who's a Kazar, <laughs> he, he didn't want her talking. So I think she came out with the with the tran with with the Macron wife, with Macron's wife being a, uh, a Decepticon. She did that so that they would fire her, so she can go on her own. I think she's gonna go with Valuetainment, the PDP, PDP, whatever the podcast. So I ain't really had nothing to say on that. Like Candace Owens, she she breaking some shit off right now, but um, you know she dropping knowledge right now. She's She's morphing into a different person. I didn't really like her before. She's kind of been morphing into a different person. So we'll see what happens with her right here. But man, uh, this unity thing has to be conquered. It has to be conquered for the fact that the biggest gang in China knows that they can buy, they can always corrupt niggas and buy us out. <laughs> that we'll never get any unity. You think they are they the only ones who know that? The CIA knows that. The FBI knows that. <laughs> every government agency knows that every gangster organization knows that never any unity so until that pops off what you think is going to happen you have to do that in this new age this new coming era this age or whatever the hell getting ready to pop off they brought in 15 million new immigrants that's just what we know of 15 million y'all do y'all know it's only 45 million niggas in America? <laughs> so they done brought in 15 million immigrants in the last three years. What are you going to do? 
The only choice is for you to have to unify and link up and create resources within the group. That's going to be the only choice because they're going to do it. They're going to do it. We just told you about the, the Venezuelans and the El Salvadorians linking up to form a new super gang. <laughs> so when are you going to get the picture and figure out that you need to link up and stop and put away the bullshit, the side shit, who's running what and who getting, who's getting this type of money and what didn't, and who's telling who what to do and all these little bullshit that keep niggas from being together. Put that shit aside, get together and figure it out. You're going to have to create resources for yourself because the government has put you to the side and said, you niggas ain't worth anything no more. You're a degrading stock. You're your stock that's going downhill and we need to dump the stock. That's what America, that's what bringing all these new people in is. Dumping the stock, the old stock, <laughs> and bringing in some better stock. So please, everybody, don't let them get you out there like that. Get your shit on. Get over here. Get your stuff. Man, learn these laws. Why you need to learn these laws? Because they're still going to implement a police state in order to put all this stuff down. To put the mash down. They have to implement a police state. Both parties are going to do it. The Democrats are doing it right now. Trump is telling you he's going to do it when he gets elected. With pride. And all the police forces are for him. All the, all the fire departments, all the agencies are riding for him. Because he's going to embolden them to smash on you more. <laughs> so, again... Y'all have to, there's, even though you say, well, the law ain't working, it does work. You just need to know how to use it. But when it doesn't work, when they don't act right, you need to know how to go after their money. This is how you get back at them. You go after their bonds and get paid off of their bonds. So know your rights manual teaches you everything that they, that you need to know about those popo when they come after you and they violate your constitutional rights. And then this, when they do violate your constitutional rights, you go after their insurance or the public official bond. This is how you get paid. Not suing. Suing, you can do that too. But you go after their bond. This is how you get paid. And again, when they, when they come after you, you have, your, you have your dash cam in your car, everything that we have taught you, and you have this, and you say, I don't answer questions. You hand them this, put it on the window, bam, I don't answer questions, officer. And you hand this with your ID if you have to. Yo, Brandy Brookhart, thank you. It's preached. <laughs> thank you for the knowledge. Absolutely. It's been, it's, it's past time. Melanated people got so many hangups where we don't link up. And now with everybody trying to create their own brand, it's even more separation. You got your brand. He got real brand. He's real nagas. He's this, he's that, booty boot. Everybody now trying to be in their own little bubble, their own little segregated bubble when you need to be coming together more. Of this of the utmost importance for you to come together right now. Not be trying to, oh nigga, no, come over here on my boat. No, come over my no support me. No, follow my follow. This, -uh. You will die if you guys keep that type of mentality for what's coming in the future. And it's really coming fast within the next five years. So this is why I say you need to armor up. Against the popo, because when they smash on you, they're going to use the popo against you. So you at least need to know how to keep they off, keep them off your ass. <laughs> so, boom, you do it with this constitutional rights card right here. Qualified immunity card right here and qualified immunity notice that lets them know what will happen, what your rights are and what will happen when they violate your rights. And then you get it on camera and then they, they can't claim qualified immunity once you get it on camera. So this is how you have to fight back. You got to know the system and then freak the system, everybody. I don't want you to learn the system so you can comply. I want you to know the system, learn the system so you know how to bend the system to your will. It's not about following the rules. It's learning the rules so you learn how to bend the game. I ain't a rule follower. I'm a rule bender. A rule. <laughs> that's what I do. I'm a fire bender. The avatar. I bend all the elements. But then right here. This is your cheat sheet to learning those laws of these flashcards for your children. They're going to be the ones who have to take this over. So make sure they get out there and get the, the uh, police stop flashcards, the law and government cards, and then the, uh, oops, where's the other one? 
and then the Supreme Court, and then these are Supreme Court case cards right here. So everything that you need to know so that you can armor yourself up for smack those popo, -po. and then please get over there and learn the law for free. We're teaching you for free. KnowYourRightsFoundation.org. Sign up, KYRF.org, uh, and make sure when you fill out, excuse me, when you fill out the questionnaire, you're going to get back. Uh, when you fill out the information, you're going to get back a questionnaire. Fill out the questionnaire. Check your spam because we do send it to you. Make sure you check your spam. Fill that out. Get back to us and we'll hit you with an interview date. But you got to do that so we'll know more about you. You got to fill out the questionnaire. But right here, remember, you get in there and this is this is the commitment. You get in here. We teach you the law for free. Everything you need to know. Everything that you, so, so that you can smack up the popo with the law. <laughs> We'll teach you all the smack up moves, <laughs> the 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 fifty two million, the fifty two block moves. <laughs> but you have to go back out and teach it to the community. All right, that's the commitment. That's the deal we have. So if you want to do that, uh, we need leaders. Again, we're not going to motivate you. We need people who are going to who have to get up and go to come in here and do it themselves because you're going to be the people to take this out into the public, into the community, and get them going. So we need people who can spark, who are self sparked, so that you can go out there. And spark other people. So again, knowyourrightsfoundation.org and get this law for free. And that's it for me. It's chicken shawarma time, baby. Chicken shawarma time. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but I am about to get some chicken shawarma. So appreciate you guys. Thank y'all for, for tuning in to my crazy ass. I know I be talking crazy shit all the time, but hey, y'all crazy too if you tune in. So thank you. Appreciate you. Thank my uh, the moderators in here for keeping it keeping it level, keeping the crazy people out of there. Thank everybody for hitting the super chat and the cash apps. I appreciate y'all, especially for people who hit that during the week. Those are those are pretty fun, you know, when you guys just hit me with a cash app and I'm not looking, I'm not expecting it. Appreciate you guys on that. I'm out of here. Chicken swarm time. Deuces. <laughs>